Welcome to the hardest challenge in Anime Defenders, Free to Pro. A free to play noob to pro account that is not allowed to tiny task, use alt accounts or spend robux in hopes to become one of the best players in Anime Defenders. My goal is split into three phases and with phase two completed, the third is to summon a secret unit and roll almighty one on one of my units. Welcome to Free to Pro. So I am back from my mini vacation as you can see here, 10 days, 18 hours and a lot of you guys agreed with me on getting the pro gamer but also potentially getting vip and upgrading to the battle pass i think he currently sits around like 700k um we've got one here for the pro gamer for 850 um uh, what's this one 950,000. 730 is actually kind of good so look at this one here 650 ABA, that's actually kind of cheap right there. The Gamer, 650K. I think I'm going to go ahead and get that. Let's go ahead and buy the Gamer for 650K, guys. Boom, there we go. So we have 679,000 left. That's actually really good. I'm happy with that. Look, he has A minus, B minus, and A minus. We can get 100% worthiness on him and try and get that B minus to like an A. So what I'm thinking about doing is rolling on him. We have 367 rerolls. And yeah, let's just go ahead and see what we can go ahead and get here with these three. 300 or so um of course almighty one would be absolutely insane but i'm actually thinking about some brawler as well just to try and get him even more powerful and we're also going to go ahead and change the spirit orb after this and oh my god oh my god you got to be kidding me dude we literally just got almighty one swiftness one on the gamer oh my freaking god bro oh my days almighty one swiftness one on the gamer guys that is one of phase three's challenges completed off right there guys surely that deserves a like and a subscription on my channel we are almost at 10,000 subscribers double re-roll dude if we get this guy and level him up and get him to s stats this guy is going to sell for so much what do we want to go ahead and get here because at the moment the normal gamer doesn't summon any minions which is why i want to change it but shit did i can't believe that man deals 30 percent more damage when no other units are within its range dude i'm gonna keep that for now because that's gonna be 30 percent more damage but oh my days the guy's fully maxed out as you can see at only level 46 he's doing 78,929 damage every 6.3 seconds but with the sacred spirit, he's dealing an extra 23,000 damage. So and technically this guy right now is doing over 100,000 damage. This is the first time I've ever gotten a double trait with almighty. And now my account is definitely 100% overpowered. Dude, this thing is going to go for legitimately millions and millions. All we have to do now is get the 100% worthiness, get those S stats, hopefully, and evolve him. We just need one more rainbow star, guys. Let's freaking go. And well, guys, there we have it. Our third and final rainbow star rift achieved. As you can see, if we go into our inventory, there it is. So very nice indeed. Now we just have to go ahead and get some normal stars. So let's go ahead and do this one. Well, guys, look at that. Pretty damn good if you ask me. Blue, purple, red, and some yellows. So let's go ahead and take a look then to see what exactly I need to go ahead and evolve the pro gamer. Now, if I remember correctly, it was the it was the demon greatsword. So all we need is five more blues and two more purples. Okay, guys, so this is very expensive here. I'm gonna purchase damn 62 rerolls just for that. But it's okay, it doesn't matter. Look, I'm only doing it so I can go ahead and evo him. So we have the required materials, as you can see here. We just don't have the worthiness, although he's already gonna be super good, as you can see here, 48.5. All right, guys, so we find Finally have 100% worthiness on the gamer. Right, I'm going to trade this guy here. I'm um, going to pay nine rerolls for one frostbind. There we go. Thank you very much. Thank you. So should we we should have two frostbinds now. We only needed the two. Uh, we can actually do it here, can't we? I forget that you can actually go over to this section and do it here. We want to do that. 100% worthiness. What are we going to go ahead and get? B minus into B plus. We will take that. I'll finally go ahead and craft the item. I don't think we did actually craft it before. So let's go ahead and do that. The demon greatsword. Uh, in, oh, bro, I need more gold for Christ's sake. Uh, let's go ahead and pop one of these potions and get the gold. And finally go ahead and craft that let's go ahead guys and finally upgrade this guy i'm hoping we can get at least one s we've got a minus b plus and a minus 
Let's go ahead and evolve him into the Pro Gamer. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, with Almighty One and Swiftness One. Absolutely crazy. Now, the moment of truth. Oh, dude, S damage. Hell yes, bro. S damage, A minus cooldown, and A range. That is unbelievable, guys. S damage. Ooh, dude, that's crazy. Now, what I want to go ahead and do is change the spirit on this guy because now we will not be using him on his own bristol galactic arcane yeah i think i want to say arcane but let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think the best spirit is for him the reason why i like this one is because it deals damage directly even if they have shields we just have to go ahead and summon a secret and then guys we are finished we would have completed all three phases so yeah this is fantastic now he is a ground unit he's not hybrid so i can't get too ahead of myself but i'm pretty sure that even these guys will hit the air units and therefore uh, i don't have to worry about the flying units but let's find out what's a w in chat guys if that doesn't deserve a like and subscribe then uh, bro i don't know what does well guys since we have uh just popped the potion here we got one minute 54 we do have quite a lot of lucky tickets here so i'm going to go ahead and get into this three thousand the three 300. let's go ahead and pop one more potion because i feel like that's going to take a little while to get through guys wish us luck we're going to auto sell everything because i don't want to use any of these units this is going to be a decent chunk though guys towards the secret unit the secret summon hopefully we get it before then guys you know but who knows it just who knows but um honestly i thought that this was going to be the easiest way to get myself a secret unit but because we got the bear king sold for 1.3 million of course i have 650,000 gems left i think so we could probably go ahead and get ourselves a normal summon anyway so i don't know let's just see what happens i also think getting vip in the future would be beneficial as well especially as it's only 120k and of course i can't afford it but i don't really want to spend my gems for some reason because i don't think i'm gonna sell the pro gamer i think that's why i don't want to spend the gems is because i don't think even though i'm gonna get so much money like literally like two two and a half three million for the pro gamer almighty i don't think i want to sell him man we're about halfway through this opening no mythic so far which is kind of interesting actually no with f damage bro that is really really bad but we are 460 out of 2000 so we are almost a quarter of the way there um the way that i've been getting my tickets by the way guys is just doing infinite mode on windmill village that's literally all i've been doing for the last few days there's another mythic right now is this gonna be a shiny one hopefully oh, that'd be cool because i haven't evoed the other one nope no shiny version if we get a shiny version, I'll probably go ahead and evolve it. Oh, we got another mythic. Wow, three mythics, guys. Not bad. The rate's in our favor now. Is it a shiny one? No, still no shiny one. Unfortunately, no secret. Wasn't expecting it, but we are almost a quarter of the way through. If not a quarter of the way through, yes, we are. Take a look at that, guys. 600 out of 2,000. Not bad at all. 13 hours and 11 minutes until we can go ahead and convert even more of those. But that is really, really good. That is some great progress right there. Let's go ahead and do the wish as well. We don't have any divine wishes. But yeah, we have five of these ones. So good luck us guys. What are we going to get? The Legion veteran starting off with a 79.2% chance. I think we're going to see the majority of those ones. There's another one. Let's see what we're going to get on this one. And the Legion assassin, 20% chance. So the Legion commander and shadow dragon is ridiculously low. Like that's crazy. How on earth are you supposed to get that, guys? That is just unbelievable. A 0.7 and a 0.10% chance is ridiculous. Now, guys, this is what I'm talking about. Not only are we now getting the minions, as you can see here, but we're dealing 123,000 damage every 6.5 seconds and an extra 24 damage when the pink rockstar kicks in so an absolutely unbelievable unit he's also now dealing bleed damage due to the demon overlord i'm just going to continue doing the infinite mode because i realized that actually the tower of eternity doesn't give us tickets and that's the main priority for the next 12 days i'm thinking that actually i'm going to go do infinite mode on a harder map now that we have this character here we should be able to survive way longer with all the minions and stuff but guys one thing i noticed is that on the snowy domains i can't get very far due to the flying units generally because a lot of my units on my team are not hybrid so what i went ahead and done was actually re removed one of the farming units and replaced it with the crimson demon 
and Ninja. Now, this guy's a three placement, and this is the one with Precision and Sonic. Hybrid on placement, and as you can see, they're doing a kind of a lot of damage. Look at this, guys. A nice little double star rift rainbow. Very good. Well, guys, I have another 1,100, oh no, 1,200 lucky tickets. Let's go ahead and finish off this video by opening those up. But first of all, let's go ahead and do a mini luck potion. So increase luck by 1.5 times. There we go. So let's just go ahead and get into this. Then that means we're going to be super close to being halfway there, guys, until we go ahead and get our very first secret unit from summoning, which is pretty damn crazy. I'm not expecting it to go ahead and get one before then because it must be like so, so low of a chance. I don't actually know what the chances are because it doesn't actually tell you, um, which is unfortunate, but we have 10 more attempts. If we get it in this video, that'd be absolutely crazy. Only nine left to go. Oh my, oh dude, for some, why did I think that that was like a, a secret? <laughs> It's just a mythic, bro. Calm down. It's just a mythic. And we haven't seen a shiny one of those yet either. Hopefully it's not going to be like one of those other ones that I tried to hunt for. I literally spent hundreds of thousands of gems trying to hunt that shiny mythic. That warrior queen was it? And it wasn't even that good when I got it, bro. I was a bit disappointed. In fairness, I was trying to go ahead and get the secret egress, but you know. Oh, we got another one there. That's crazy. Another mythic just like that. Is it going to be a shiny one though? Let's find out. No, I always think it is because I see the limited rainbow. I see the mythic. I see the hybrid and I think, oh my God, it's a shiny, but fortunately not. But look, two mythics and 12 pulls, 12, 10 summons. I'll definitely take that. That's actually really good odds right there, guys. And yeah, we have 12 days, four hours. So we should be able to absolutely smash this. And next video, guys, we should be getting our first secret from the summon and closing off the third phase of this series which is pretty crazy man pretty crazy i thought it was going to take a lot longer but we've done really really well and as you can see they're ending off on 720 out of 2000 guys thank you so much for watching let's go ahead and take a look at the statistics right now 11 days eight hours playtime. but bro we, this is probably one of my most favorite episodes due to the fact that we got the pro gamer almighty with swiftness a double technique role a double trait role still have 684,000 left i'm thinking about purchasing vip so let me know in the comment section down below if you think i should go ahead and purchase vip with my remaining diamonds and gems and also what you think else i should go ahead and purchase but guys thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe for more anime defenders content and i'll see you guys in the next video